Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna take a one video pause from the Tops 2022 Series 2 Hanger vs. Fat Pack challenge that I've been doing. Um, I just simply needed a change of scenery, open something else that I haven't opened yet. Um, and I've had this sitting around for a while. So I figured today is as good a day as any to open it. Um, the Series 2 challenge has been pretty lackluster thus far. I mean, it's not to say we haven't had any hits. We've had some decent ones, but none of the big boys. And I just needed to change. So this is the Walmart Series 1, Series 2 complete set uh, green box, I believe it is. And I'm sure all of you have seen it. You got a chance of one out of every three boxes to hit a parallel set. Or even better, you can hit one of the numbered sets. And if you do the math, that's 399 numbered sets that were made. I don't know how many of these sets were printed. But I will say that your odds of hitting the numbered set are probably pretty slim. But I will also say that I believe your odds of hitting a number set out of this product are probably greater than pulling a Julio, a Torkelson, or a Wit short print out of Topps Chrome. Just saying. But anyway. Let's get into this. Um, let's see if we can at least see if I got lucky and at least grabbed a parallel set. Typically, it's a gold star set. It'd be pretty cool to hit a numbered set. Sure, that would increase the value of it, but like I said, not counting on it. I'd be happy with just a gold star set. The way my luck has been thus far, not even counting on that. So let's get into it, and I'm not gonna go through the set. I'm going to pull the three cards that are here, the Bobby, the Julio, the Torkelson, put those aside, and then, yeah, looks like just a regular base set. Pull a couple cards out so I can get the other ones. And not number. So we pull these three cards here. Which are the Spencer Torkelson, the Julio, and the Bobby. Now I've seen on other videos people asking in the comments, you know, if these have the short prints in them, why not just buy these sets? Well, they're actually not the true short print. Um, if you look at that. It's stamped on their complete sets. The true short prints of these three in Series 2 will have Series 2 stamped on there. Now why these cars do hold a little value, they're nowhere near the value of the actual true short print in Series 2. So, getting back to the packs here, 
I'm not going to open this. This is the same five cards in every box. It's the Wander, Shane Boz, O'Neill Cruz, um, Jaron Duran, and Brandon Marsh. These are the image variations that you could have gotten out of Series 1 and Series 2, but they're stamped chrome. The true image variations are stamped whatever series they came out of. So this is the basically the meat and potatoes of the box. It's a foil board card. I don't know, shimmer. I don't know exactly what it's called. But uh, we'll go ahead and open this. See if we can't pull something decent out of there. We do start off with one of my Mariners. Unfortunately, it's The starting pitchers is not having the best of years, but anyway. We have another pitcher, Nate Pearson. Then a Brian Miller rookie card from the Marlins. Sean Murphy from the A's and the Kansas City Royals team card so nothing major out of this but hey that's how it goes appreciate y'all watching if you like what you see hit that like and subscribe button also hit the notification if you want to get notified of new videos and until next time, thank you, see ya.